As you can see by the title of today's video, we got a puppy. So guys, this is Blue. He's about 12 weeks old. And he actually has the same birthday as me, which is insane. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the day that we got him. I'm going to do a little haul for you guys and show you the essential products and items that I recommend you get if you're going to get like a puppy. And I'm also going to show you guys kind of like a day in the life of a dog mom. He's adorable, but I'll be honest with you guys, he's hard work. Puppies are not just for Christmas and this is a very common saying a lot of people get puppies around Christmas time and then realize that they're actually a lot more hard work than they thought we got blue around Christmas time ourselves but we did know that if we're gonna have a dog we're gonna have to put in a lot of hard work our days with blue start at 8 a.m he has breakfast at 8 a.m he then has lunch at 1 p.m and then he has dinner at about 5 half 5 and then he sleeps at about 9 p.m I'm gonna show you guys like the first day that we got him just how small and cute he was he was so cute at home i've trusted my mom and sister to go in there and to get a few decent bits his previous owner just gave us this little bag full of like his casey registered paper and some food and they also gave us this teddy bear and this blanket so we're back home now and we just got him some more yeah come on let me come out yeah baby it's gonna be his first time touching the floor when he's confident enough to get out of the bed Just the cutest little baby ever. Cutest baby. He just really sleeps all day. He's been a good boy and he's been weighing on his puppy pads. So guys, I lie down here and he lies down here. Good boy, baby. <gasps> Fetch. Hello, boy. Hello, boy, boy. Hello, you be hyper. Hello. Now, I know there's a bit of controversy about whether silver Labradors are pure breeds. We think he is. He looks like a Labrador. He's actually got green eyes. I don't know if you can tell properly. We thought he had blue eyes, which is why we called him Blue. So whilst he's sleeping, this is actually a really good time for me to show you guys his bed. So this is his bed. We brought it from Pets at Home. It's a perfect size for him as a puppy. When he does get older, we will have to get him a bigger bed. As you can see, in the bed, there's two blankets. Now, one blanket was actually from his mom. It has, like, his mom's smell on it and, like, his brother's smell on it. And one blanket is a blanket that we brought him from Pets at Home. This is, like, a perfect space for him. And this is the reason why we decided not to crate train him. Just because he doesn't really need a crate. Like, this is his home. This is his safe space. The only issue with a dog not being crate trained is that they do wreck the house when you're not with them now this is not good behavior obviously but we're not mad at him for it because he's a puppy and he's teething he mostly does this when no one's with him so like in the morning when we all wake up and he's alone for a little bit he will mostly mess with it then also just to show you guys we got this little baby gate i think it's called and it's really a nice design you just pull it and you push it down and it opens. I think we got this from Amazon. The reason that we have this is because he is, hello, you waking up now. The reason that we have this is because he's not allowed upstairs. As you can see guys, I am a bit red here. I am actually quite severely allergic to dogs and to this dog, unfortunately. I take antihistamines every day. I use my inhaler pretty much every day as well, which is kind of annoying because I wasn't on my inhaler every day, but now I have to be because he does restrict my breathing. Um, there was some times when I just, couldn't breathe at all at first but my body is finally getting more used to him let me know if you've got a dog allergy and how you deal with it so he's been a good little boy today look at him what's wrong baby uh-oh have you done a little wee wee inside he's done a wee you do a wee that's not good 
but that's probably my fault i probably should have let him out and um, when he does wake up he does pretty much need to go for a wee straight away now what i've got to do is i've got to use some dental spray and use some kitchen roll and clean this wee up The amount of times I have to wash my hands now is ridiculous. The amount of wee and poo I have to pick up, wipe, is... It's so gross. We normally are in this room together. I would say that this whole area is actually Blue's area in the day. We've got a little play area here. We get all these toys out. There's more toys than this. Okay, so I've set the camera up here, guys. I'm going to give you guys like a little haul of all the things that we use for the dog. So this toy is essential. He loves playing tug of war with anything that's like dangly. Two really similar toys. I prefer this one because he likes to teeth on these bits too. These are great little toys that he just always teeths at. He always nibbles at. Okay. Okay, so we've got this as well which is actually really cool as you can see he really has nibbled at it this is actually a game we can hide treats in the different compartments and then he can try and find his favorite treat so one thing that i actually got for him which is so cute is this little dog toys box he's actually got these little small balls right now which he loves playing with he's getting quite big so these are getting a bit too small for him soon we'll start using the bigger balls just so he doesn't end up swallowing the small ball we do bathe him once a week so we use like this towel we use puppy shampoo and then something that i really want to show you guys which is so unique and so cool and i've never seen it before as i was saying this is so cool it's literally a dog perfume and it smells like the million perfume it's obviously dog friendly like it's just made out of oils come here good boy let me smell you oh you smell good boy you smell good these puppy pads are basically training pads so yeah the training pads are great because he does normally wee on them we also use this which is a puppy aid training spray it helps puppies train where to urinate so what i do is i do a few sprays everywhere and now he knows that this is where he needs to wee actually got this from amazon it's a bitter apple spray we'll spray a few sprays of this and he will no longer bite the area sometimes he still will to be honest but hates how it tastes so as you can see he loves this toy he will literally bite at anything other than his own toys sometimes which is just so annoying because he's got his own toys to play with let's take it over here go okay so this dog is currently having hyper hour i like to call it hyper hour because he genuinely will be hyper for about an hour and then after the hour he will be cute and he'll be cuddly and he'll be sleepy so i have to put up with it because there's nothing else that i can do i have not ate yet so he's eight and i've not ate so he ate at 8 a.m so i'm gonna make myself some food i'm gonna charge my camera he's gonna run about and be a crazy little puppy and that's how we're gonna live life today i've had breakfast now and baby boy has kind of calmed down i'm gonna place you guys here and show you guys the reality of me doing some work and hopefully him being a bit calmer and cuddling up next to me no good boy i tried to put him in his bed to go and sleep but he came right back to me <laughs> my baby he's got so big now guys so it's like really hard to let him sleep all over my legs because when he was little he used to fit perfectly and now he's just all squished. So my days do consist of cuddles, barking and biting, wee, poo. But like the cuddle part just makes up for everything. I'll be so real. Okay, so in here, this is like our utility room area, and this is just full of dog stuff. It's currently 1 p.m., so it's his lunch time. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do for his lunch. This is like our spare fridge, but we've got some food here. It's all raw food for puppies. Every single night, my mom takes out the frozen food and takes out all his food for the day and lets it defrost. He has eight chunks per meal. So yeah, I've just put eight chunks in here, and then he's got eight chunks left for dinner later, and that's just how we feed him. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's a bit more in here now. Maybe he's my mom's upped his portion size actually. Let's watch his reaction. <gasps> he 
Hello, boy. Hello. Sit. Sit. Good boy. He eats it within seconds and then he has hiccups after every time. Watch this, guys. Are you finished your food already? Okay, guys, so I've got my coat on. He's got his coat on. How about you, boy? But yeah, we're about to go to walkies. This is a adjustable lead, which I quite like. So I can rein him in when needed. He had his second vaccination like three weeks ago now or two weeks ago now. So he's allowed to walk outside. Okay guys, so we're back from our walk now. And um, Baby Blue slept on my lap, but I've just left him over there to sleep for a bit longer. I've showed you Blue. I've showed you some essential items to get. And I've also showed you like what a day in the life is like. Honestly, there's highs and there's lows. There's times when he's peaceful, he's cute and he's tired and he's cuddly. And there's times where he's crazy. I'd say for about four or five hours of the day, he's crazy. And then for about 20 hours of the day, he sleeps. That is a day in the life of having a Labrador puppy called Blue. He knows that he's being talked about right now. He's like, why are you talking about me for? Hmm? Boy. 